What is up, YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode of Our 60 Journey. My name is Lucas, and I'm here to help us build healthy relationships. So, I was having this discussion last night, and all of a sudden in my, we'll call it my internal vision, um, I started seeing these puzzle pieces. And it was like, I was seeing them being built from, I guess from your version, left to right. They're either, they're building, and they're creating stuff, and it's like, what we're talking about is people, when they interact with you, me, them, us, anyone, when, when people interact, we don't always get the full picture. They don't give us the full story. You know, someone talks to you about an issue they're having with a coworker or a lover or a family member, and they're giving this information out. They're building a picture for you based on pieces. And your job as a listener, as an intuitive, as a psychic, <laughs> is to take those puzzle pieces and put them together and find the holes, right? You find the holes that maybe they're not looking at, maybe it's things that they're not telling you because they don't want to admit something, like something you're looking for, it's a piece, you're an investigator. And all of a sudden I realized that when we fill those puzzle pieces ourselves without actually knowing, we use some sort of intuition we have, that intuition is not 100%, okay? There is no psychic on this planet that's intuition is 100% right, right? It's all varied, it's colored by their perspective, by your perspective of what you give. And I had this realization that when we color in those puzzle pieces and we fill them ourselves, we then are creating different dynamics of how the story actually played out and how it's going to play out. And then what happens is, is that as you're interacting with these people and you're putting together all these puzzles, maybe you don't think of them, maybe you don't even think about puzzle pieces, maybe you're just like, I don't even pay this much attention. Great, well I do. <laughs> if you do, here you go. Um, you fill in these puzzle pieces, and then at some point, when maybe they reveal that puzzle piece to you, it's not exactly what you thought it was. Okay, it's a little different, maybe a lot different, somewhere between a little and a lot. <laughs> and all of a sudden, every other puzzle piece is now shifting too, right? Because all the, th all, the, all the puzzle pieces of someone are interacting with all the other puzzle pieces, and they're creating an awareness through all these different thoughts and beliefs and systems we have around this story. And it's really important that we keep our mind open f to be flexible because every time we access memory, it changes. And the main reason that it changes first and foremost is that every time you interact with that story, that energy, that feeling, that vibration that you picked up that day you had that story, your perspective changes, which again is just a piece of the puzzle. And it's those pieces that as you're analyzing them and putting them together, it's important to have flexibility because when you have flexibility, it's easier to shift how you see a puzzle piece. It's easier to shift how you feel about a puzzle piece. It's easier to shift how it is you're perceiving where you are right now versus where you're going versus where you've been. And I just I had this realization. It was just it was puzzle pieces. And you know, it's like that one puzzle piece could be something negative, something that's detrimental to us. Because negative is raw, but, but brings us out of where we're trying to go. Or it could be something else. And as soon as we take those individual, the individual puzzle pieces, and we begin to look at each piece in, with its own a bit of clarity, and really try to understand what those pieces mean, that we can come to a full actualization of what this is. And with relationships, the reason why it's so important is because when you're, at, when you're interacting with people, you're making assessments about them. You're trying to please them, also please yourself, and... At some point, if you make an assumption about someone's puzzle, like a prime example between me and my lover, is one night he wanted to watch a movie, and it was like two and a half hours long. Well, it was late. And I was thinking, you know, we'd have early. There's all these thought processes going on inside my head as to why I'm going to say, uh, I'm not really into a long movie. Like, and what I said was, I'm not really into a long movie with all these thoughts behind it, like, I don't want to be up that late, I'm already kind of tired, it's early in the morning, tomorrow's a long day, all this stuff, I'm not really into a long movie. And my lover took that as a puzzle piece of who I was and assumed that I don't like long movies, that I have chosen to not have an attention span for long movies, which is not true <laughs> at all. Um, I can watch lots of, all my favorite movies are long. And it was about two months into our relationship that I went to go grab something and he goes, but, it's long. 
And I said, well, it's only 8 o'clock. You know, I'm not sure exactly what time it was. And he goes, but you don't like long movies. And for two whole months, he made the assumption that I didn't like long movies, period. And he built a belief system about who I was around this one fact, right? What the other things that we avoided? There might have been other, other longer activities we avoided, too, all because of these assumptions. And, you know, I've made those, too. You know, where you assume something about someone, like, oh, this person um, complains all the time. Well, you just met them. Maybe they're just in a bad place right now. Maybe they're not always like that. And it's important that we do not fully ever attach to or grasp on into other people's individual puzzle pieces. Because puzzle pieces are always changing. And being flexible in the moment is what's important. Being flexible to the fact that someone's different now than they were just a minute ago. And they're going to be different in a minute from now than they were at this exact moment. So, that's all we got today. Thank you guys for checking in. See you guys later.